deployment material uh, used to with the deep learning method and we use machine learning to model this problem. So the first thing is whether we get data sets relating to anti-cancer peptides. And we, we do have lots of uh, data, sets, data sets relating to cancer uh, peptides like cancer PBD, and we defense in peptide databases, unique work. And we need to validate those peptides, whether those uh, validated peptides do have activity relating to anti-cancer peptides or not. And as we, as we can see that uh, all these uh, peptide data sets are time series data sets. And they are uh, the combination of 20 amino acids compo uh, composition and their uh, composition doesn't determine their activity, what they do. So we need to model these problems uh, by using some kinds of features for predictions. So our main target is to develop the composition model, train and test to evaluate on the independent data sets where the uh, developed model, uh, proposed mode methods are uh, 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 expected, expected uh, prediction accuracy or not. So we do some kinds of stat statistical analysis on two kinds of data sets like SCP740 and SCP240 data sets. Like SCP740 as a main data set, data set and SCP240 as an independent data set. So we see that uh, most of the peptides fall within the range of 40, 50, and 60. So we take the chunk of 40, 50, and 60 for the, stat uh, for the prediction analysis. So first thing, what we do is we process the data that they may, they may consist of variable length peptides, and we uh, fix uh, those peptides into the, some kinds of 40 or 50 chunks peptides and feasorize those peptides using uh, some computational method as well as we do have a servers for that also. But uh, we represent uh, that in terms of numerical vectors for those we, we select a binary profile features we, uh, which represents the sequence information or sequence order information. Uh, Amination composition means, uh, represents the number of uh, uh, residue that is more prevalent in uh, the sequence and the amino acid index that <coughs> represents the bio, uh, biophysical phys activities relating to anti-cancer peptides and the some kind of uh, normality that we do in our work is data argumentation that are not introduced in peptide-based argumentations but it's so common in our image, uh, image argumentations and next one is model building like we try with uh, several linear, non-linear models, instables model, stacking models but we achieve the uh, expected uh, results with uh, using, using method, adaptive uh, boosting methods so for this uh, modeling we use uh, other boosting classified uses of some kinds of technical as good boosting classifier and you need to uh, determine the best classifier for classifiers for this and we try to several the linears as well as non-linears but using a non-linear model, especially the random forest model which works like an if-else loop it, it, it is giving a better accuracy and we encode uh, those factors uh, in terms of uh, profile, features, uh, profile features and acid index and acid compositions and use the base model uh, for the prediction and we are very proud that we get a better uh, results with uh, using these uh, nonlinear models as a uh, base learner for predictions. And we optimize the models, uh, um, like we optimize, we didn't optimize the other system classifier, but we optimize the base learners. So we can uh, correct the errors that is present within the base learners. So this is the result that we achieve, uh, like we do some feature analysis, which of the features is more prevalent or have a strong momentum for the predictions. And we find that the combination of uh, binary profile features, I mean, so the, while I'm, I'm sorry, like the features and the case, so uh, the combination of a binary profile feature and acid index and uh, acid composition gives us a better result for the predictions. And we calculate this in terms of MCC. And we, uh, perform some analysis on the two data sets and we are able, uh, we achieve the better performance uh, using uh, Adamstein classifiers which is about 90% accuracy for these data sets, SCP740 and SCP240. This is the result that we get from our modeling, like we get uh, maximum accuracy of 86% for the SCP740 and with SCP240, like we apply data documentation stacking for uh, SCP740 and SCP240, and it was doing better for the uh, samples with the least number of proportions <coughs> representing positive and negative samples. And we compared uh, our results with the state of math methods, and we are getting a better accuracy than the previous uh, state of methods. 
So we are proud with this. So for the validation, like if, if you are interested to work on better relating to uh, different neuro, neuro, neurological disorders, uh, there are lots of resources regarding, regarding the papers because of the limitations of the drug molecules. Like our body, if, if our body is prone, uh, exposed to the drugs, then our body can uh, develop a resistance for that. But the peptides, what the, what the good thing is uh, with the peptides is it doesn't have side effects. It doesn't have side effects uh, as well as uh, for prolonged exposure to the uh, peptides uh, doesn't develop a resistance for uh, any kinds of diseases. And we do have a validation server, like uh, it's uh, one example for this. And uh, if you are working with an uh, anti cancer peptides or any anti uh, material peptides, uh, then you can visit the, uh, this type of server for validation of your data sets. As well as the feature validation, they do have uh, some um, uh, extra information relating to modification, which of the uh, peptide sequence is more prevalent in what kinds, what kinds of peptides. So this can be uh, templates for you. So this is the summary of our work, like uh, what we do, like revision of the peptides or time series, uh, data sets in terms of uh, physical and properties, uh, composition, uh, as well as binary profile features. And we have done some feature analysis to find which uh, features is more strong for the prediction. And we find that the physical and properties have more tendency for predictions. Like it can tell the physical and or bonding information uh, that resides within the peptides. <coughs> and we argument that uh, cell samples, but we didn't add argumentations to the uh, features that we give in the sequence order information, but the features that we give in the physical chemical properties. And the, we had to, uh, the last one is, we had to the maximum accuracy and MCC of 83% and 81.65%, which is the success of our work. And this, what this uh, method concludes is that we can apply some kinds of noise induction methods to our peptides data sets, not only to the image data sets also. So it can be a, a direction for the, someone who, who are working in time series data sets. So this is our result.